everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. In today's video, we're gonna unbox some mystery Blu-rays from Bull Moose. Hey everyone, so thanks for coming back to the channel. In today's video, I've got a package from Bull Moose with 10 mystery Blu-rays inside of it. I bought two of their grab bags, and that's something that they've been doing for a while, and I finally decided to buy some because they listed them online. All their stores are obviously closed because of this coronavirus outbreak, and I wanted to support them a little bit. I've been buying books and movies and things from their site for the last couple of weeks, and I saw they put out these mystery grab bags. Basically, you're gonna get five discs in each grab bag, and they're gonna show up. Most of them won't have packaging. I don't really care about that. I was just curious to see what I got. You might get something really cool and just have to go find some packaging for it. Maybe you get a bunch of duplicates. I don't know, 2,600 movies in this room. Some of mine will probably be duplicates, but I thought it was cool. It makes for a cool video. And so if you're interested in these, I'll leave a link in the description, but Bull Moose did not pay me for this video or anything. All you conspiracy theorists out there, I didn't get paid. This is not an ad. I simply, they're my local video store. They're closed down right now, other than online shopping because of the virus and I wanted to support them and uh, shout them out in a video and this was a cool way to do it. Now, if this is your first time here and you're interested in Blu-ray, 4K, home theater, movie collecting, physical media, any of that stuff, please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Make sure your notifications are on. I'm gonna be pumping out more and more content here since I have some more free time uh, after work and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy all those videos. And definitely, like I said, check out the links to Bull Moose down in the description and go give those guys some support. With that being said, let's crack this open and see what I got. So I've never done this before, so I actually have no clue uh, what's gonna be in this or how they come packaged. I never even bought them when they were in store, um, but this is pretty cool. So here we go. I've got my two packs of five. They are $6 each, and so you're literally paying a dollar for a movie. Of course, you're not getting, like I said, packaging. These are just gonna be discs, but for six bucks, that's not a bad deal. Um, they have Blu-ray, they have DVD, and they also have video games. Uh, PS2, PS3, Xbox, Xbox 360. There's some cool stuff you can get. Um, so let's crack open this first one here. And okay, these discs just come as they come. Um, <laughs> they're just stacked on top of each other, but here we go. First one, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, big screen edition. Uh, I actually do have that on 4K, so I'll probably be donating that one. Um, then we've got Skyline. This is actually a movie that um, I don't have in my collection. So there we go. Uh, I found one, Skyline, PG-13. I've never heard of this. And the kind of cool thing is I don't even know what it is because there's no packaging to tell me anything about it. Um, so that's interesting, Skyline. I'll have to look that up. Um, then I've got uh, Clash of the Titans, which... I'm actually not sure if I have this either. This might be one that's new to me. Um, I do know that movie, and it's supposed to actually be kind of fun to watch. It's not like going to win Best Picture awards and stuff. It's not an award winner, but it's a pretty fun movie. Now next, I've got Hancock. Um, you know what? To be honest, I don't know if I have this either. I saw this in theaters. I know I've seen this movie. Will Smith's in it. Charlize Theron. It's actually a pretty fun and different uh, superhero movie, which is pretty cool. Um, and the nice thing is these discs are all in great shape too. Um, you know, it'd be it'd be cool if maybe they put some paper or something in between them because they're just stacked on top of each other. Um, but they're in good shape. Bull Moose always. Their used discs are always in excellent shape. Um, and then the last one here is Man of Steel on Blu-ray, which I do already have for sure. So out of this box, it actually looks like maybe three out of five um, I don't have in my collection. And so that's pretty cool. I mean, you can print artwork online. I've got empty cases going around. And for five bucks, I just added three new Blu-rays to my collection that I didn't previously have. Um, and for somebody with 2,600 movies, that's saying something. So now we're going to break into grab bag number two and see what we got here. All right. First one is uh, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. This one's a little disappointing because this is a dollar store title. This has been in the dollar store a few times. It's a movie you could definitely get for a dollar uh, with the packaging and stuff. And I, I do have that one. So not the greatest. Um, then we've got... 
All right. Uh, Star Trek Into Darkness. This doesn't look like it is uh, 3D or anything, just Star Trek Into Darkness, but I do have this uh, on 3D, but uh, I'm sure it came with a standard Blu-ray too. It must have, so this will probably be one that I donate as well. Oh, wow. Hello. Okay. Now I've got uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban on 4K. That's super cool. I didn't expect to get a 4K disc out of this. And I actually don't have this on 4K. I have a few of the Harry Potter movies. I'm trying to remember. Where are they? Um, yeah, I only have the 5th, the 6th, the 7th, and the 8th movie. I didn't have the 3rd. I didn't have Prisoner of Azkaban on 4K. That's awesome. That's really cool to get out of a grab bag. Um, next up, wow, are you kidding? Another super cool one, uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens 3D Blu-ray. That is really cool. I don't have that either. I have the standard Blu-ray, um, and I'm thinking about maybe getting the 4K, although I think that Disney did some crappy fake HDR on them, and I, I don't even really want to buy them until I see reviews from other people. Um, so I'll check those out, but I didn't have it in 3D, and I do have a 3D TV and player, so that's really cool. So a 4K disc, and a 3D disc out of this grab bag, which is awesome. Wow, then I've got um, Star Wars Force Awakens standard Blu-ray, so that's pretty cool. Obviously they have this one, but um, they package that with the 3D disc, which is kind of nice if you didn't have either one. And I definitely got more than five discs in this. One, two, three, four, uh, five. Looks like, looks like I got seven in this bag, so I guess you never know what you're gonna get. You might get more. Um, next one on Blu-ray is uh, Shoot 'em Up. This is a Clive Owen movie. Uh, Shoot 'em Up. Do I have this? I actually don't think I do. This is another one that I don't have on Blu-ray. 7.1 audio track. Looks pretty cool. Um, I feel like I'm thinking of another movie uh, that was like Shoot 'em Up, but I don't think I have Shoot 'em Up, so that's awesome. And then we've got SWAT on Blu-ray, which another movie. I actually don't have. I think this was a Mill Creek release, uh, SWAT, and they don't make those anymore. I think Mill Creek lost the rights, and so I'm not sure, but this looks like an older Blu-ray disc. It was like 2006, 2007. Um, this is like one of the first from Sony Blu-ray discs, so that's super cool. Another one I don't have in my collection, um, but like, wow, the nice thing about that set is um, the real highlights there. I mean, this is really cool. This is why I like getting, um, I, I might get more of these grab bags because you just never know what you're going to get for five bucks. What's your risk? You know, spend five bucks on a uh, cup of coffee. Um, and I got this Force Awakens 3D Blu-ray, which is incredible. And then the other real highlight obviously is the fact that I got a 4K disc, Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban. And this thing is in mint condition. These were all in mint condition. And so I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, so they gave me seven movies in that second uh, grab bag, probably just because somebody wasn't counting them right or they put Force Awakens 2D and 3D together, but 12 discs, I spent 10 bucks and three dollars for shipping it showed up literally in one day i bought these yesterday because i'm close to the store in maine it shipped out in one day which was so cool and i got a 4k disc i mean this disc right here just to buy a 4k disc of harry potter on ebay is going to run you ten dollars and now i can just put it in a package and i have the disc um i'm a physical media collector but honestly i'm not like super crazy about having the exact right packaging. I just wanna have the movie because at the end of the day, it looks good on my shelf and I do prefer having the packaging. But for me personally, this wasn't a big deal because I'll just throw this in a 4K case. So guys, thanks for watching that video. That was really cool, a really cool thing that Bull Moose is doing. Um, I'm sorry my light just went out again. For some reason, the camera, the light that I have, I'm gonna have to buy a new one. It keeps dying after like 15 minutes. It's plugged into the wall. I don't know why it's dying. Um, it was, I'll have to get a new light for the for the video. But anyway, super cool stuff. I got a 3D Blu-ray. I got a 4K Blu-ray. Those alone are worth at least the $12 I paid. And then I ended up getting five or six movies out of the 12 that I didn't have in my collection. So for me, this was a win. This was kind of cool too. Um, I used to collect like baseball cards and stuff. And it's always the nice thing about collecting those is you don't know what you're getting. 
You buy a pack for a dollar, you open it up, you could get a card that's incredible, you could get junk. Collecting movies, that's one thing that I sort of miss about it. Um, I know what I'm getting every time I open a package, I ordered it, it's no surprise. But this is a cool little way to get that same feeling. And uh, honestly, opening this up and seeing Harry Potter in 4K and Force Awakens 3D, that's about as good a pull as you're gonna get and those came out of the same grab bag. So you really just don't know. They're pulling these out of, you know, these are trade-ins probably or used copies or copies that come in with damaged cases and they pull the discs out and they do this really cool thing. And like I said, they do this with PlayStation games, Xbox games, um, even like, I think that there's, do they do books? They do, C oh, no, 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 they do CDs, DVDs and Blu-ray and apparently Blu-ray includes 3D and 4K sometimes. So super cool, I uh, really love this and hopefully you guys check out Bull Moose. Even if you don't buy a grab bag, I think grab bags are a pretty cool idea for five, six bucks a pop. But even if you don't buy those, check out some of their other movies, uh, check out their books, vinyl records, CDs. Um, they're doing some really cool stuff to support local artists right now who are missing out on gigs and shows. They're just a really good company and they're still paying all their employees during this. So I just want to support them, give them a huge shout out and I hope you guys do too. So thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to stay up to date on everything. Make sure you subscribe and you have your notifications on. Like this video so some more people will see it and I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay safe and healthy out there. I have more stuff coming so make sure you stay tuned to the channel and have a great weekend.